I want us to watch this video, the popular cross dresser, um, Bob Risky, and uh, about other celebrities who supported or gave money to the cross dresser. So let's hear what he said, and then I shall share with you my own thoughts and opinion about this whole issue. Let's watch. All right, so I just got to Lagos now from Rwanda, right? As you can see, I see the um, airport. Now, the first news when I see, and I say plenty of people contribute money for Bob Risky when they come out, and they see the amount, the amount's one near like 100 million. And I ask a question, I say, what is that for? Do you understand? What are you people trying to do? Like, are you people trying to encourage crime? Are you people trying to encourage gayism? Are you people trying to encourage gayism in Nigeria, transgender? What are you people trying to do? Do you understand? What is the benefit of giving Bob Risky that money? Are you trying to tell the youth that, okay, go and commit a particular type of crime, we'll always be here to support you? Do you understand? What is the positive impact of giving Bob Risky that money? Do you understand? There are a lot of communities in Nigeria that don't have waters. A lot of schools, children don't sit down because they don't get here. I never see one, one day carry on money, say, okay, we want to go to a particular community and carry the money and give it to them. But a man where they display I tell the knack man, they explain, they wear my cloth up and down for Nigeria. They deceive the youth. A bad example. When I pack with money, carry and they give them. Almost 100 million. And you want the government to take you people serious? What are you trying to tell the government? That yes, even if somebody commits crime, we're there for them. Mona prepare, the country one and the aid for this country. You come back home, bite you now. Watch out for more. Do you understand? You're trying to tell them that, okay, yes, if you're a transgender, we'll always support you. Do anything you like, we are there for you. Do you understand? What validation are you people trying to seek? What validation? I can never understand what just happened. Do you understand? And then they are, they are fans. You understand? I see somebody like Don Jazzy in there for them. I see Tewa Savage in there for them. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, come on, man. I lost a lot of respect for everybody where they're on that list. Everybody. Everybody. The one when I won't just take all of my name in my hand. The day where they toss some youth for one country, or maybe Nigeria has this strand there somewhere on a no gather on our money pay. I go start with the costuna from one, they come down. I go costuna, I'll call on a name. You understand? There's no penalty for insults in Nigeria. There's no penalty for a penalty for defamation day. When I call you a mumu, if I wake up one morning and say don't just say mumu, or I wake up and say to myself, it's a mumu, until that day, I they wait. I they wait. What positive thing are you people contributing for? And what positive thing are you people contributed for in Nigeria? What? So what? No, what positive thing is that money for? And they wait for now, Eloni, only one ball when I go do for Eloni. They see they call me up to today. I never see get that money to you. I always say I go call you now for something and I go answer. If you know no answer. If you people don't hold me, that's but Uwaku. <laughs> uwaku. Not because they say me about Bobriski. Mm -mm. No, that's not the reason. But this has to be the dumbest thing I've seen people do. Rubbish. Don't play. I could not get alliance with anybody. Rubbish. Or some stupid fans go also say, because they don't contribute for me, I don't need it. Think about what these people did. You will not understand because a lot of you are blinded by, oh, they are your favor. And it is dumb. Are you promoting homosexuality in Nigeria? What are you saying? What is the benefit of that? Are you trying to seek validation from Bob Risky? What validation will Bob Risky give you? Do you understand? What message are you trying to pass across to the youth of Nigeria? What? How will the government take you people serious? If they burn anybody where government do something tomorrow, may anybody call my name to say very that point, no talk about time. May government do something and open a mouth to talk. And some people still in the comment section and they appear, oh my God. <laughs> Nonsense people. All of them for that list. All. All. Make tomorrow more than those the worker they go find boho to do for communities. If you ask me if that government problem be that Ogugo still kill you. If you ask me if that government problem, government are not doing it. But if you have the facility to do it, why can't you do it? It is not my money, yes. But if you are wasting your money for stupid things like this, then you owe it to us. Rubbish. Let me just say this, okay? Um, I respect very dark man. I think that he has been very, very impactful in a positive way on the lives of many people in Nigeria. And the, I am someone who loves to give credit to where it's due. I think um, 
very dark man has been a force for good in Nigeria. He has spoken out about many things that people were doing, and those people have changed their ways. For that, I really appreciate it. But I would bet to differ with him on this. I would bet to take a different take on this whole issue. I believe that people have the right to give their money to whoever they seek fit. It is their personal money. They work hard for this money and they can give it to whoever they want to give it to. It is their liberty to do so. We cannot cast them out. We cannot call their names. We cannot lambast at them for giving their money to someone who we might not be fondly of. It doesn't matter if we like those people or not. They have the right to give their money to them. And uh, another point I want to differ with uh, is that very dark man is trying to imply that by giving money to Bob Risky is encouraging bad behavior, is encouraging criminality, as he may put it. I want to say this, right? Uh, someone being a cross-dresser, or even a transgender, or even um, someone from a different sexual orientation than us, is nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. Um, I have seen the too much exaggeration of things in Africa to such an extent that I cannot stomach it anymore. You will hear people say that uh, Bob Risky is a bad influence on children. Bob Risky is trying to turn everyone into a trance. Bob Risky is influencing our children in a very negative way. And I ask the question, if you train your children well, do you think somebody from outside will influence them? Do you think so? Listen, let me make this example of myself, right? I grew up in an environment where people smoke cigarettes. It was like the order of the day. But to date, I don't smoke. I grew up in an environment where we have these petty, petty thieves. You no, know, these common thieves in the quarter. But to today, I don't do that. I grew up in an environment where people smoke marijuana. But I don't do that. I don't smoke that. The fact that someone is doing something does not necessarily mean that everyone will follow in their footsteps. It doesn't mean that. So all this over-exaggeration of things in Africa has to stop. We must focus on the important issues that are destroying our society. That is what we must focus on. We should leave private citizens alone. Whoever Bob Risky sleeps with is his own or her own personal business. We have no issues with that. He or she is not sleeping with us. Listen, my brothers and sisters, right? I have this principle of live and let's live. Each to theirs. That has been my principle. I believe that if someone is doing something that is not hurting other people, those people should be left to live their lives as they want. I believe so. If Bob Risky is doing his own thing or her own thing. If those celebrities are doing their own thing, are giving money to whoever they want to give it to, it's their business. Nothing concerns us with that. They can give it to whoever they want to give it to. It's their own business. So we shouldn't get angry about it. They work their money. They have their money. And they can give it to whoever they want to give it to. I would have loved they use it for other courses, like very Dagman said, um, digging borehole for less privileged people in society. I would have loved it if they have used that money to do that. 
But remember, we cannot force their hands to do what they don't want to do. We cannot. We cannot. And last thing before I go, let me just make this point one more time. If you are out there worrying that Bob Risky is going to influence your child into becoming a trans or a cross, then you are not doing a good job. You as a parent is not doing a good job. Because if you are really educating your child, if you are really paying attention on your children, you will put them on the right path. You will make sure that their minds are being shaped in such a way that they will not be easily swayed when they go out there. But if you're not doing your job and only blaming someone, then it's your own business. It is your own business. It is your own business. Please, leave Bob Risky alone. Just let Bob Risky be, okay? Bob Risky is not the problem that Nigeria is facing. Bob Risky is not the problem in the country. Bob Risky is not the reason why politicians are stealing every single money the country has. Bob Risky is not the reason why they don't tie the votes. Bob Risky is not, it's not the reason why inflation is out of control. And uh, Bob Risky is not the reason why men of God are lying to the people. We have more larger issues to talk about. Not Bob Whiskey, not a private citizen. But you guys out there, what is your take on what very dark man said in this video? Are you in support of what he said? Do you believe that Bob Whiskey is a bad influence to the young ones? And don't you think that if the parents did their job of educating their young ones, they won't be worrying about Bob Risky influencing them? And also, if your children are on social media, don't you think that they will come across things or videos about trans or gay or uh, and cross-dressers? Don't you think so? Let us hear your own take in the comment section below. Because like always, we love hearing what you have to say.